What's going on, guys? Philip at Trade Genius. All right, we're going to take a look at Ethereum because it's the season for big Ethereum moves. We're going to talk about ETH BTC and also ETH USD. So we'll take a look at when exactly is a good time to get into those and how to play the impending moves that we typically see this time of year. Uh, real quick, we also do have our Black Friday specials. Again, for one year, $2.99 gets you into the room with us and our hand-picked selections. Usually, guys pay for this within the uh, first couple of weeks if not the first week, because uh, we're trading so many different things, binary options, cryptos, and stocks, ETFs. So this is a very good deal, guys. We only do this once a year, so check that out. All right, let's dive into this video. Trade Genius. All right, guys, ETH BTC. So what we're talking about is when we see moves that happen toward the end of the year, and I've highlighted vertical lines as to when uh, that consistently seems to happen. So with B ETH BTC, uh, if you look at around the 9th of December, uh, you'll see that if you measure from the 9th of December to the peak of the move from that point, back in 2016, we had a 1300% move. Back in December of 17, we had a 300% move. Remember, that was the end of the basically the bull market on cryptos and Bitcoin. And then most recently, if we took a trade on the 9th of December, this is on a three-day chart. So some of these dates are a day off just depending on how the three-day chart settles. But you'll see there's a 61% move there in ETH BTC. So this uh, just getting into the second week of December, getting long ETH BTC has proven to be pretty profitable. 2016 saw a drop initially, but if you uh, just held through that and it, and that bounce, you saw a 1300% move. Now, yes, this was back when ETH was very inexpensive. So you are going to get those types of large moves. But even in a bear market, you can see where there was a bounce in ETH BTC. So this behaves a little differently than ETH USD. Now, obviously, if you're gaining in BTC, you're gaining in USD, uh, generally when the bull market cycle is going up, which is the situation now. And ultimately, uh, if you're looking to stack more BTC, you know, trading ETH against BTC during this time frame is extremely profitable and uh, gets you more BTC and ultimately more value in USD as ultimately BTC keeps trending upwards. Now, if we look at Ethereum dollar, ETH USD, You'll notice the time shift on when to get in is a little bit different. <clears throat> a lot of your gains or large moves will stem from around the 1st of the November. Uh, now, again, going back to November 16th, uh, going from the 1st of November, you saw a drop first down and then a huge rally up. But if we go from the subsequent uh, markets uh, in the November, you'll notice that in November from seven, November 17, we had a 400 percent move there now at the end of the bear market okay so you got to keep in mind what cycle we're in um, end of the bear market we saw a large move down 63 percent drop uh, on ethereum usd terms and now here we are back in a we've exited the bear market <clears throat> and we're back into a pre-having bullish environment and we're going uh, into this consolidation area which you'll notice going into november we typically do see consolidation right here 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 so the way i would play this is i look at what the low to high was prior to the beginning of november and so uh, basically you can look at this level here so if we take and make a line uh, here and we make a line here what you could do is is sit tight on the usd side of things and wait for one of these levels to be breached because typically that's going to give you the green light on the direction for the year-end move if you want to be a little bit more aggressive uh, you could take this smaller high to low like right here and uh, wait for that break okay just know that that might get you caught in some noise but that would be how i would play that so on the downside pretty obvious if it breaks 150 dollars you could look for a flush move down uh, on the upside, if it breaks 198, or if you want to be a little bit more conservative on that, wait for a break of the 224 level. Uh, you know that both of those getting um, a three-day close outside of those would probably project a fairly large move up in percentage terms, as we typically see. 
So that's how I would play that uh, in USD terms. If we're looking at the ETH BTC play, um, you know, essentially ETH BTC moves a little differently. It usually just once it gets going and it just moves really quickly. So how I would play that is I would look for a trend line break. So for example, here, uh, what I would do on this last one is I would take a trend line uh, and you basically just draw a trend line. And when you see that trend line start to break there, uh, get that close over it, go ahead and get long or or short based on that. <clears throat> but that's how I'd play the ETH BTC side of things as opposed to a high low range. So, uh, you know, another example would be like this here, something like that, watching that go for a break. That This bar here would be your key clue as to time to get long. And you can just go long when that closes and then your stop would be below uh, below the move where the move started the low here uh, on that so that's how i play that on these so for this move going into uh, this uh, this november here or actually december i should say so we, you typically don't get ready for this until this around december 9th on this move so we're just gonna slide this over go to december 9th and wait for that move and then probably depending on what the price action is uh, draw this trend line here, something similar to that. <clears throat> See that level start to break, and that'd be a, a good time to get long on that. So there you have it. That's how I play ETH BTC and ETH USD. Large gains can come from these levels, and especially since we're now into the pre having area. So this would be similar to what we saw. Uh, actually, the cycle time-wise is similar to what we saw back here. November of 2016. Now, I don't know that we're going to see a 3,000% move because we are evaluated a lot higher than we were back here, but we could definitely see um, uh, a move right up into 390 because that's where your prior support and resistance is at the very minimum. And I think we probably ultimately bust through that. So these will be good areas to get long from in any case. Okay. Now, again, you want to guard against the downside. So we really don't want to see the $150 level break. Okay. So that's the downside risk there. If so, then uh, you'd probably be best sitting in cash waiting for that to, to play out. <clears throat> and again, in a drop like that, you'd want to just draw a trend line uh, because generally if they break, when Ethereum breaks those support levels, uh, you get a pretty decent bounce, but you want to wait for a trend line break to get go long after that. So there's your different scenarios, guys. I hope that helps. Uh, again, uh, just want to give you guys a heads up. Timing wise, very bullish time for Ethereum, considering where we are in the halving cycle. You know, keep an eye on that, and that's your game plan for that. I hope that helps, guys. Please hit like and subscribe. Again, check out our specials if you're interested in joining us in the room. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye bye. Trade genius.